Hi there, welcome back to Transfer Talk. Now, five players who need to move this summer. Well, let's start with Calvin Phillips then, of interest to several Premier League clubs this summer. Spent the second half of last season uh, on loan to West Ham. Where should he go? I mean, I love a story, a narrative. I think Leeds is home for him. And hold on a minute, hold on a minute. <laughs> when we were talking earlier I've trapped myself about here, Zaha... <laughs> You but were like, oh, I, yeah, it'd be I, a good story, but... I feel the situation with Calvin Phillips is slightly different, you okay. know? I think he's been at City. A lot of people have said he's been a really good person to have around the dressing room. But in a Pep Guardiola system and a Pep Guardiola team, he didn't get the minutes, then didn't get a chance to play for England at the Euros. And now he's sort of been hung out to dry, effectively. No landed, didn't have a great time at West Ham either, but because he hadn't played much football. But a lot of things that people say about him is he's at his best around his family when he's at home. Uh, and I do think at this point it might be a case of reset, recharge the batteries, go to Leeds, obviously means playing in the Championship, but he'd be the main man there again, and then come back to the Premier League and then maybe look to go and okay, restart and I kind of needed to refresh my mind and go again. Don't often agree with Nabade, but he's got a point. <laughs> it's a it's very rare occurrence. <laughs> he's got a point. It's almost like a, you know, a step backwards to go forward. Um, I think at, at this stage of Calvin Phillips' career, it, it can't be about ego. It can't be about, I tried to make the step up and I, I failed and I'm a failure. And No, not at all. You, made, you tried to make the step up, it hasn't worked. No problem, that's fine. He's young enough to refine him, re himself and, like you said, go and be comfortable again. Yes, he'll be going back into the Championship, but he'll go back to being the main man, mm. back, to his, back to his club um, and find himself. And why can't Leeds get promoted with, with him once again? He can have that story once again and just, just reassert himself and find his feet. I would say Serie A is a good option. Because I think when he was back at West Ham, what you saw is, I wouldn't say a physical decline, he's such a young guy, but he hadn't played a lot of football. He was a Serie A and in midfield there, you get a lot of time in possession. He's someone who sits in, he pings the ball around. That might favour him. I think as like sort of Premier League fans, like you just said there, we sort of like frown upon players going abroad or dropping a level to come back again. But he's at an age where he could still be in the England squad for the next tournament. Mm -hmm. He might still get a chance further down the line. But if he goes... I want to stay in the Premier League, I'm going to go to West Ham again, and it doesn't work again. The cycle mm. is often hard to stop. Yeah, for, for England, though, could it be a bit of out of sight, out of mind if he was in Italy, do you think? I mean, things move on so quickly at yeah. England. I mean, I, during this Euros, and I was looking back to sort of the World Cup, and I went, oh my gosh, Mason Mount was like starting in the mm. 10. It just reminded me, and I'm like thinking of his time now, mm injuries and, and struggling for form. People move on and, it, and it's really quick. Look at what happened to Jack Grealish, what happened to Raheem Sterling. Mm. So unfortunately, yes, at this stage, but, the cycle but things the can way. change back. Look yeah. at James Sancho again. Mm. He was another one was, was in the fray and, and now he's not. But things do change really, really quickly. So yeah, right now it does feel a bit like an outside mm. out of mind, which isn't great, but quick, things can quickly change. And you'll remember as well in, in January that Juventus were interested, weren't they, on a loan for him? Yeah, and Juve probably would still be interested because they had a lot of uh, midfield injuries last season. Um, I'm pretty sure Rabiot's not signing a new contract, so they're going to lose a midfielder in there. Rabiot's obviously linked to Manchester United for a while. So I do feel that, that there are options for him. And I think so far from what we've seen from Calvin Phillips, as everyone has said, mm. he makes good decisions. I think the Man City one, in hindsight, probably wasn't the best decision. But if, it, if the best team in the, in the land offers you a chance to go there, you're going to back yourself. So you can't blame him for that Absolutely. either. I think he just has to have like now as a sort of foresight to go and I really think he could still play for England because England still need that position filled. So can I go, like Flex said, backwards? Of Juve's definitely not backwards. Still Champions mm. League football will still be about um, and reset. OK, what about Ben Chilwell then? Can you see him fitting into Enzo Mareska's side? It doesn't look like it on face value, does it? I mean, Enzo Mareska really wants possession of the football. He's, he's, he's really driving that and Chelsea have had teething problems with that um, in pre-season and really struggled with, with some of his methods. Um, he likes the inverted fullbacks. He likes them to be really comfortable on the ball. And when I think of a prime Ben Chilwell, which he, he hasn't quite been at that level for, for a little while now with, with a mixture of injuries and bad form, et cetera, et cetera. But a prime Ben Chilwell I see is bombing on, yeah. overlapping, whipping crosses into the box, either as a wing back or a left back. And it just doesn't feel like stylistically he's going to be the right fit um, for Enzo Maresca's new look Chelsea side. So I think he can be looking at it as well as... as I might need to move. I'm not going to be part of the plans here at Chelsea. Again, another player who, for one reason or another, with injuries and bad form, not in the England side as well, because mm. he actually was fit going mm. into that, but just overlooked. Gareth Southgate said, I'm going to take an injured Luke Shaw and wait for him to get fit and put Kieran Trippier on that side. He's not even a natural fullback. So it shows 
probably where Ben Chilwell is at right now in his career. So he's got a choice point. And, and especially if he wants to be back on the radar um, for the World Cup coming up in a couple of years, he's going to need to be playing consistent football and, and find himself again. Where do you think he could do that? It's tricky because I think he's also someone that is, in my opinion, he's more of a left wing back than a left back. Yeah. And so you have to play for a team that's progressive. I don't think he could go to Everton, for example, because Everton want to sit in. You, know, you don't really want to be asking Ben Chilwell to sit in on that side unless they switch to a back three. Um, so then I go, again, it's maybe abroad. Uh, it's a really fascinating thing, though. We were just saying about the cycle changing. Not long ago, we were saying Reese James and Ben Chilwell are Chelsea's most important <laughs> that's players. That's the future, like, yeah. Yeah, and, and they're going to take him to the next level. But Enzo Maresca demands players that are good in possession. And Mark Cucurello, although he's got the worst song in the world... Um, <laughs> that he sings himself, by the way. He sings his... Cool, cool. I'm not going to do it. But he's, he's, uh, he's had a very good Euros, right? You can't, you can't leave him outside.